<laughs> Their music is heavier than something really heavy. Their latest album came out last summer. It's called Nude with Boots. And if you don't own it, then you're probably a commie pinko Nazi yoga instructor. And if you're in New York City this Friday, you should check the Melvins out where they're performing live at Webster Hall. King Buzzo is one of the founding members, and he's been with us all night. So let's talk yeah. about this and, and other cool stuff, shall oh, we? Great, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's start now, shall we? Yeah, sure. All right, let's do it, okay? All right. I'm ready. So we're playing, you're playing this uh, this Friday night. Yes. It's Friday. an unusual concert because you are playing the classic Houdini album in its entirety. That is true. Yeah. Do you like doing that? Um, it, it, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's a little weird because most of our records have songs we never planned on playing live. Yeah. So we had to kind of reinvent it. Yeah. But we're not married to them, so yeah. we change things around. Uh, but you can't do it, just change it. But do you believe that every single song on Houdini is great? No. Yeah, I don't believe any of them are great. Oh, no, well, I, I like them fine, but I don't, I don't listen to my own music. Mmm, interesting. That's like reading your own books or something. Yeah, Greg I do that. that. Yeah. I do that. Yeah. I, I, I sometimes just watch the show, like just wearing Watch nothing. your own show. Yeah, it's over and over again. <laughs> Actually, I don't even watch the show. I just have it freeze frame on me. Yeah. And then I just kind of check out my various angles. Now, Houdini is one yes. of the great metal albums of all time. And, but I've said it before. Honey Bucket, which is on Houdini, is the best metal song ever written. Can you deny that? Oh, I wouldn't deny that. No, you wouldn't, <laughs> would you? Nah. Yeah. I mean, why deny the truth? It's, it, no, but it's amazing. It, it's kind of sad because it's, oh, how old is that song? No one better than 17 it. years yeah it's a fantastic song. if you have never heard that song honey bucket go to itunes and buy it it's it's the best like two and a half minutes or three is minutes is this an interview or a date <laughs> it is a date good what, lord what what, what, what are the ingredients i'm into it what <laughs> what are the great no, we what, didn't even we didn't even meet on craigslist i know it's true <laughs> what song. ingredients are necessary to make a perfect song well, you have to really be able to hide what you're stealing from really well. <laughs> That's Interesting. The best thing to do. Interesting. What about lyrics? This is one area of the Melvins that I feel like you, I, I can't, well, I can't understand them. Is that on purpose? Probably better that way. Yeah. I learned that a long time ago from Mick Jagger. <laughs> really? You don't want to understand the lyrics because mm. that just ruins the whole song. Mm. Now, I noticed you wrote the sleeve notes for the latest reissue of Flippers Gone Fishing. I'm amazed that you know that. How do you know that? Uh, I think I read it somewhere. I, okay. I did like a search. But I, 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 I listened to Flipper years yeah. ago. And uh, you did mention uh, in your liner notes that Sex Bomb is perhaps, what do you call it, what do you call it, the uh, Deep Purple song? You oh, the punk it rock, to. Smoke in the Water. Yeah, it is an amazing song. It Why is. did America not take to Flipper? Well, uh, Flipper, one of those um, weird bands. Yeah. You know, they were always one of our favorites. Yeah. But the world's not a right place. <laughs> it's true. You know? It's true. If the world was a right place, then those guys would be multimillionaires. Well, who do you listen to now? Are there any popular bands you like, like the Jonas Brothers? or Never heard of them. <laughs> the Jonas Brothers? I've never heard of them. <laughs> never heard them? No. no. What do you listen to? Well, there's a band from uh, uh, a band from L.A. called Tweak Bird that I like a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Brothers, they're very, very good. And there's another band that is the uh, two other guys that are in our band that are on their own tour right now called Big Business. So yeah, they're, uh, they, yeah, they're in your. Are they still in, in your band? band. Yes, they're in your they band. Are. For this show, though, we're, we're playing with uh, a different bass player while they're on their tour. The bass player uh, from Phantomas. His name's oh, Trevor. Yes. Trevor Dunn. Mm -hmm. So he's he's playing with us, and we're also doing. Going way back to 1983 when we started with our original drummer, mm -hmm. and uh, our drummer now Dale is playing bass, and we're doing all songs from 1983 as we did them in 1983. We didn't try to jazz them up. Wow! Words and all. I can turn you on to some Jonas after the show. <laughs> <on my iPod. laughs> Love that. Yeah, baby. he's actually got Love one. Of the, he's got one of the brothers in the trunk of his car. Yeah. Hey, um, speaking of Phantomas, are any plans to do uh, a new record? Anything well, coming up? Um, I would love to do another Phantomas record. It's kind of Mike's thing. So yeah. we'll see. We'll do it when, when, when he's ready. Mm -hmm. you know? How did you get the as name? Soon as, as soon as he gets out of rehab. <laughs> oh, he's we'll not again. <laughs> <laughs> it's sex rehab. Oh, really? Oh, oh that's even more embarrassing. Sex hab, mm. they call it. <laughs> and now, when do you tour? Where do you like playing most? I like playing in the U.S. the most. Yeah. It's easiest. It's the best. Yeah. Yeah. What's the worst place? I understand place? the language better here than anywhere else. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> what's, the, what's the place that you hate going to? Hmm. Well, I didn't like going to Russia. Really? No, I didn't like. I was. Th I think I was there when you were in Russia, and I didn't go see you. But I, I love like Russia. It. It's scary, but yeah. it's a. It's an interesting. Yeah, I thought they were weird, and everybody lied to us, and they made us give them a thousand dollars U.S. <laughs> At the airport before we could leave. Really? Mm, not cool. <laughs> That's not, hard to say no to a gun in your head. <laughs> that is yeah. Russia. Oh yeah. my goodness. Our options didn't seem very, very That's very amazing. Appealing at that point. All right. Count them out. I'm going to talk to some people there. All right. Thank you, King Buzzo. The Melvins' official website is melvins.com. Coming up next, I play back some messages you've been leaving on my direct line. And don't forget about a virtual basement. Chat online with other Red Eye fans about tonight's show. Log on to theactivitypit.com. Spreading secularism is the New York